Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Truck and we are playing Stellaris with a new CLC Utopia on insane difficulty as the Architects Foundation. Welcome back. You can see here our our little um, our little fleet of uh, corvettes just waiting here to be used against space pirates or anything. I'm pretty happy with how they're decked out because um, we do actually have um, deflectors. Um, Actually, we also have armor. Did I give them some armor? I did not. I guess we can't really. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's no way that I can really give them armor because our reactors are too weak. If I could save one reactor, um, I could just... I mean, if I were to, to put a big react in this... Um, well, no, wait. Uh, we're not going to save that. Uh, currently, we have 80 shields. So if I remove that big one... Remove that one. Um, put a reactor in that big thing. Uh, remove that reactor. And put that deflector over there. That still leaves me with 5 surplus energy. 20 shields less. But I could actually stick a nano composite armor on there. But I guess that's not worth it. I guess having more shields is better. Um, yeah, it doesn't really make a difference um, how you split those. Um, yeah, I guess I won't save that. I guess I didn't make any changes that that warrant that um yeah so we're out here we got our new um got our new friends the zombie fallen empire are now our friends or at least we had a, we have a defensive pact and all that and we have the same rival um i would like to bring this into a federation simply for the reason that at some point maybe the great old ones won't be here anymore um at one point or other it's gonna come to blows and then these guys might actually fall away and without them gone we might not really have a reason to be allied to these guys anymore i mean the trust is going to tick up but uh, if we have border friction and stuff like that it could go south i'm not sure although you are not a part of us you will come to know that we value our friends as well <clears throat> that's nice and it's speaking directly to us that's always interesting first architect uh, normally other empires don't uh, really only talk to the people um, but the since these guys are just one person basically it's talking to us as one person I really like that kind of that kind of flavor uh, so they got three planets these guys have three planets they really hate us what could a wretched space lizard possibly have to say that would interest the great old ones yeah nothing I just screwed you over <laughs> I'm now friends with your rivals um, yeah, all right. Um, gonna unpause here. Uh, we're still trying to get together enough minerals to um, fill up our fleet um, before we go anywhere. Um, yeah, in terms of unity, I actually have to make a decision. If I go for the diplomacy, try to go for the federation. Trust growth is increased by all that, but I think it, diplomatically, we, we kind of did what we need to do for now. I mean, these guys are our friends and defensive pact and all that. We didn't really need the diplomacy tree for that. Um, so I think we'll just push on. Um, the good thing about us not having more than one colony is that the cost um, for the traditions is pretty low. I mean, it goes up with pops, but it also goes up for um, with new colonies, basically the same as the tech cost. So having only one colony allows us to push through these traditions fairly fast, I'd say. Um, I think I will go for this. Polytechnic education. Oh no, I have to go for the science division first. I guess so. Okay, I mean, I would like to go for this. Prosperity. Ah, tough choices. I like it. I like it. Those tough choices are good. Assist research increases planet happiness by 10%. That's really good. Yeah, I think we're just gonna try to finish this. Get those, get that finisher 10% research speed. And also try to get the technological ascendancy plus 10% research speed. That would make us pretty pretty strong in terms of research. So let's go for it. I think we depend on it. And I think we want to go there. Um, on our world itself, I really want to build the, um, the symbol of unity here. Um, it's still a ways away. Could go for the Autochton monument first. I don't have another free tile, which is kind of shitty, but I really want the the traditions growth to be increased. Yeah, what's the construction ship doing? Building another research mining station complete. over there. I guess that's fine. And we're done with the research. Oh yeah, synchronized defenses. That's good. Um, 
Oh, these are all good. I mean, increasing the survey speed does more for our tech, I guess. Um, oh, we're getting that reduced because we have the research agreement. Okay. 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 Well, I mean, that is kind of an argument to go for that. On the other hand, calling the development speed is going to save us some, some money in the future. So, yeah, I'm kind of torn. On the other hand... Getting those, getting those sensors and just knocking that out, getting that survey speed in early. I think that's going to be good. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for that. Um, border range is going to increase in seven months. So that's good. Um, oh yeah, we're just three minerals away from being able to build another Corvette. I'm going to go up to fast speed again. I guess there's no real way around it and yeah we really should build up our fleet before we go um, for other stuff and we have received a transmission from the independent state space station of the zero call with business conglomerate operating out of the afromiki system specializing in the trade of minerals and energy the very building blocks of civilization as we like to say here at zero Corp. please do not hesitate to contact us if you're interested in making a good deal all right i have nothing to deal with Hmm. Yeah. There's no way around it. We've got to build up our fleet. I guess. Uh, where's the Zura Corp again? Um, so we've got two. We've got two traders. Zura Corp. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Really? Oh yeah, over here. Complete. In the lands of the Great Old Ones. I guess that's fine. It would be kind of nice if this would actually sort of lock down um, us going for them. If they were in the lands of hostile complete. people. But I guess that's not a thing. Okay, anomaly mining found. station is done. And we found another anomaly. Ripper Jaws 1A surface appears heavily pockmarked, which is not unusual. What is unusual is the regular shape of the scars, irregularly distributed distributed it. This is unlikely to be the result of meteorite impacts. Yeah, have a look at it. That is an anomaly right next to um, Great Old One space, but maybe we can get something out of it for ourselves. Yeah, wouldn't say no to that. Research complete. Let's go for the... Oh yeah, we're done with the galactic ambitions, so we have more border range now. I guess I should actually go for for the influence because currently we have no influence if i want to colonize i need to go for that terraforming is good though orbital hydroponics is good i mean that's not a lot of cost right and it is um the specialty of cabroxy over there so let's go for it yeah construction ship is not doing anything did the the growth in borders do anything for us no yeah kind of kind of I brought these into our area. That has not been surveyed. And it is in our space, so I guess I have to look at it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind to actually build a an energy station. Enter the orbit for now. And we'll, I guess we'll start um, doing that once we're there. And I guess it's mainly the fleet that is actually pulling that much energy credits. The prosperity traditions are definitely nice. Like they... Uh, reducing ship cost and building cost and then reducing the ship upkeep that's super good um, okay ripid jaw 1a was once home to a race of reasonably intelligent beings who destroyed themselves when they seemingly only decades away from spaceflight the planet has recovered from what must have been immense acts of senseless destruction but it still bears very visible scars um one of the few remaining units on the surface holds a reasonably well-preserved stone monolith inscribed with a message quickly decoded by Xidlor. It is a warning from the last of the extinct species to whoever they believed would arise after their passing. It was the development of an ultimate weapon that was their downfall. Some quirk in the psychology of the species evidently rendered deterrence through mutually assured destruction impossible. Survivors, before dying of unknown causes soon after, hid this weaponry deep underground as destroying them was difficult and left this message uh, to dissuade us from going looking back for them. Um, then dissuaded we shall be. I mean, we are pacifists, but I'd rather... It's just... I'd rather I have those weapons than the great old ones. 
if you look at it from a role playing point of view, um, you really wouldn't leave um, some super weapons right at the borders of an evil empire that is coming to purge you. <laughs> so I guess we're going to find those situation weapons, log actually. Updated. Um, situation log. Where is it? The ultimate weapon. We need a guy with skill three or higher. You have three or higher, so... Let's go for it. Let's go for that research project and actually let's try to get that ultimate weapon before complete. these guys push out further. Uh, what's done? Okay, yeah. Uh, one more Corvette and we're done. One more Corvette and we're through. That's nice. I do kind of want to get up to the thousand energy credits to buy that research boost from those from those complete. curators because that's pretty huge. Uh, but yeah, first we're going to go for our last Corvette. Uh, we finally got a fleet. I mean, we only got uh, 500 fleet power, so <laughs> oh, I'm, I think we're going to end with about 550 or something, or 540. So it's not crazy, but... Oh, someone has a military station in here. Aha! Uh -huh. The function of this alien space station is unknown. We got, we got spacefaring people on this alpine world. That's interesting. We definitely have to get a... Oh, you're serving... No, actually, you got to survey that system because we get we have to get an observation post in there and sort of try to make friends of these guys. I really don't want them to take um, the whole area. <laughs> That's not good. I mean, we're not going to do anything to them. We're just going to be uh, friendly. Going to do passive observations. I guess we're pacifists. Our energy credits are going down. Construction complete. Okay. Uh, what's done? My last... Yeah, my last Corvette. Okay, so 550 is the fighting power that we currently have. That is not even enough to take um, out those space amoebas, I guess. That's <laughs> kind of disappointing. Um, are we there for the destroyers? 40 months is what is separating us from that. Okay, I get it. I get it. Right. Hmm. Hmm. It's fine. It's fine. I'm telling you. Okay, I've got our construction ship, and I really do want to build another mining station on there. Get that deficit sorted out. How's the foundation looking? You will be there very soon. So that's fine. Then we can start building other stuff. Um, Puzok Jok civilization encountered. We've detected the presence of an alien civilization on Ibininium in the Yod Ben system. Yeah, that's these guys. They appear to be in the early space age, as evidenced by the many primitive satellites orbiting their homeworld. Their nation states are on the path towards joining together in a global government, and it is likely only a matter of time before they venture beyond their world and join the galactic community. Um, yeah, we could go for an observation post over there, which might not be a bad idea. Um, yeah, that is the new symbol that has been added to see that there are primitives in a certain system. Um, what are they? Oh, they're militarists, really! They're enduring, wasteful, industrious, and have an alpine preference. Oh, god damn it. Militarists. Militarists right next to us. Should we not try to change their ethics? Because that's something that you can do now with uh, with primitives. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll let the construction ship build that other that other mine and just hope that these guys won't come to sentience right now. I will have to build another station there, I guess. Maybe in the Polgara system or something. Because that has already been surveyed. Or maybe over here. It's a tropical world. Special project complete. The search proves fruitless. Whatever these mystical weapons were, they are now gone. Okay, well, that is that is a win, though. That is a win, at least for me, because we know that, um, that the Great Old Ones won't get those weapons. Right? That's what we want. We don't want them to have any sort of super weapon, because God knows what they'll do with them. Construction complete. Okay, we're done with the mining station, which... Ah, oh yeah, we're still losing a very little bit. A very tiny little bit. 0.16. We have 0.75 army maintenance, really? 
armies. Yeah, we have five five defensive armies. How's our unrest? Yeah, we have no unrest whatsoever. Yeah, actually, we're gonna get rid of those. I think. I mean... On the other hand... I mean... What I could do is... I could go for this. Reduce their upkeep. Is it worth it, though? 50 minerals? I don't think so. At least not right now. We're not really swimming in minerals. Uh, but we could go... I mean, we want to colonize this world anyway, so it's kind of a waste to build a research station on there. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, could go for this place, though. Put a research station on that place. Um, on the other hand, how much are we gaining? We're gaining 0.8. We're losing one from the defensive pacts. Did we go for the influence research? Yeah, we did. Okay, so that's good. That will allow me to sort of build at least um, one station out here. Are there any other colonizable planets? No, not really. So all this has to be taken with, um, with either passive structures or with uh, outposts, I guess. Ocean world, 21 sized ocean world. That's sizable. I really don't want those militarists to to pop up right next to me. That is not what I desire at all. Research complete. We'll see how it goes. Okay, what do we get? Um, gravitic sensors. Yeah, right. Okay, what do we get now? We need to learn the assist research thing. Oh, but the power plant too would actually be quite useful to us. Yeah, why not? That would solve my energy problem, I guess. Because then I could upgrade that one. And I could upgrade that one. I mean, I guess I should also go ahead and remove those tower blockers. Possibly. Possibly. At some point, we want to build stuff. Yeah, it doesn't... We're not in a hurry. We're not in a rush for that. And I guess I should save up to actually go for a ship there. You're moving to the terror set system, building that thing. Um, it's gonna increase our our outlay though. Well, go for the research station anyways. It's fine. It's fine. System survey complete. Okay, Anomaly. there are signs of activity uh, by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Okay, yeah, have a look at it. Why not? Foundation Defense Force is just chilling over there. We've got those two planets in the back for now. Mm -hmm. What to do over there? What to do? I'm I'm guessing that that would also cost um, quite a lot of influence. Yeah, 198. That's a lot. I mean, we could always defend ourselves against these militarists. We're not allowed to declare any wars, though. How would I best serve our interests? <clears throat> A colossal space battle occurred in high orbit of Yacht Bem 5 some 600,000 years ago, with ships from at least five different fleets participating. One of the fleets belonged to the Cybrex, although the vast majority of orbital debris Seems to come from the other participants. Okay, remarkable. We got this battle debris. Updated. Um, how does that one look? Oh, it's not. System it's server not listed. Complete. Could you please list that? Oh yeah, it's. I guess it's in the Cybrex thing. Okay, we need skill four or higher. All right. Mm, are you done? You're done in the Ripajo system. So let's go into the Bellatrix system. I guess. Um, and I, I guess we gotta do that fast, otherwise we're gonna lose that science ship. <laughs> and then we got you in the Yacht Bem system. Most of these have been have been looked at, so let's just go and survey that one, and survey that one. Survey, survey, survey. That has alien vessels and alien space stations. I guess I gotta send the defense force in there to remove those. At some point, possibly, the birth of space piracy—it just—it just happened. Certain irrational and criminal elements of our society have left Foundation to seek an outlaw's life in the far reaches of space. 
In a display of surprising ingenuity, these brigands have heavily modified and weaponized a large number of civilian starships. Our civilian shipping lanes are now being raided by this improvised starfleet, which identifies itself only as the Screaming Demons. A prompt response is needed. These non-conformists will be dealt with. That is that the kind of response that we would have as pacifists? I mean, I guess so. Pacifism is not quite free. Where are they though? Where are the space pirates? Where's their system? Don't we? I thought it. I thought it said space piracy and all that. Where are they? Shouldn't they appear in our space? Just have a look. Maybe we'll see them coming in. I mean, at least all our ships have um, shields. And we're getting close to having destroyers, which is going to do a lot for our fighting strength. Where are those space pirates? Where are they? I mean, I guess I could send the fleet out to probe the surrounding systems that are outside a sensor range. This is... Yeah, I guess we don't really have the sensor range for most of these. I thought that we would see them, though. So, yeah, I guess we're going to pay a visit to alien vessels. 877. Yeah, we can't really run into any alien vessels. I guess I should have a look into the recording to see if um, it actually said where their base was. But otherwise, we'll just look through these. Maybe they'll maybe they'll start over here. Oh well, yeah, at least we got our fleet um, operational and ready. So the next time, I guess, we'll hunt some pirates. For now, um, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.